I've made it to Wat Don Cemetery. And this is a famous, it's a very famous cemetery because it's believed to be haunted. Um, but I don't know, I think things have changed. I've just been studying up. Um, this used to be the scariest place in Bangkok. But it has changed a little bit because now it's full of people doing exercise. So here's a little gym here. And there's loads and loads of joggers around. So it's actually, rather than a place of the dead, it's kind of like a place for people to prevent death, try and get healthy. So it's not quite what I expected. I am here at night time and the sounds of frogs, it's quite deafening, but there's also loads and loads of water. So just behind me, there's a row of tombstones, but it's like a little river as well. So it's actually quite creepy. And down here behind me as well, it's all underwater because we're in the rainy season at the moment. So it is pretty creepy. Nature has definitely overtaken this uh, cemetery. Because uh, it's the rainy season, there's water everywhere, but it also means all the weeds and trees and vines are just, have just completely grown out of control here. So you got the gym equipment behind me, uh, but because it's so well lit, this is also the car park for the um, all the motorcycles as well. And so it's nicely lit here. Now this, I would, really would like to come back here in the daytime to actually have a good close look at these tombstones because they're so, so interesting. So it's Chinese, uh, Chinese uh, cemetery. But you can see how they've got this ornate uh, tombstone at the front. But then at the back, they've got this kind of mound mound of turf at the bottom where the remains are. It's so unique and interesting. Uh, would definitely be worth a look in the daytime because I'm not venturing too close, too deeply in the nighttime. I'm a little bit scared. So not only is Wat Don Cemetery a place for exercise, a place to bury the dead, it's also a place for karaoke. I got a gentleman and a lady singing their heart out over here. So back in the day, this park was believed to be haunted. Now the reason it was haunted was a lot of the people that were buried here, uh, there was a, spe a special part that was for uh, people without family. So some people, some people passed away and they were without family. So the, the, the people here, the community took care of them and actually buried them. Uh, however, it was said because they didn't have a proper burial with family members that their spirits actually were living here 
Now, another belief also was that some people that were buried here were actually involved in car accidents as well. So they were taken before their time. So their spirits were haunting here as well. So it was the spirits that were haunting these parks that were either looking for their family or wanting to live. They didn't want to go to the afterlife because they still had some life to live. So they were, they were haunting this area. Now it's said to believe that taxi drivers back in the day would not take anyone to this park, this cemetery. Uh, so if you told a taxi driver that they wanted to go, that you wanted to go to a, to a Don cemetery, they wouldn't take it. They'd drop you off maybe a kilometre away and say, walk the rest of the way. Uh, and the reason this is, is because some of the taxi drivers have told stories that they have had indeed had fares. People were paying customers in their taxi and wanted to go to Don cemetery when they got here the taxi was empty and they were sitting alone so they believed that they actually had a ghost in their car I'm getting goosebumps telling this story in this location so if you remember earlier in the video i was talking about uh, some uh, folk folk religion uh which originated from uh some of the southern parts of china the the, the, the animist belief so it's a strong belief here in thailand that the, the spirits actually are uh, all, all around that there actually is animate animate objects, uh, whether it's uh, living things or even river streams or weather systems, actually do have a spirit. And it's because of this strong belief that ghost stories are so easily latched onto here in Thai, Thailand. And many people believe in ghosts here in Thailand. Now, fast forward to today. Now, it seems strange that this park is actually so active. This cemetery is a fitness park and there's so many people here. And I was reading in the Bangkok Post uh, there was a one gentleman here who um, has no problem, he has no fear of the spirits here and that's because he respects and says and uh, uh, pays respects to the, to the spirits whenever he enters this, this cemetery. So it's because he treats the spirits with respect and, um, and acknowledges them that he believes that they won't actually haunt them. So it's the people who don't believe in the spirits, they're the ones that actually, and they, they don't respect or, or pay, pay, pay respects or tri tribute to the spirits, they're the ones that actually get haunted. I was reading in the Bangkok Post about a shopkeeper nearby. Once he was here in the cemetery and he had to go to the toilet. So he went to the toilet and three people were entered the bathroom just before him. Now, because there was only three cubicles, he waited outside. After some time, the first person exited and then the second. And he waited a bit longer. The third person never exited the bathroom. He went in to search, the bathroom was empty. He indeed did see a ghost that night. In the 1950s and 60s, uh, this here was actually the site of many an execution by Field Marshal Sarat Tananat, who was involved, he was a vicious and a nasty leader at the time and this is where it was believed that he executed a lot of people and later in the 60s and 70s this was said to be the site of many a suicide many suicides occurred here at Wat Don Cemetery which adds to the legend of why this park is indeed haunted. Bangkok Body Snatchers is the name given to people who drive around uh, looking for the car accidents basically when the car accidents occur the body snatchers turn up and if the body is dead they take the body and they bring it to a place like this and they get some kind of reward so that kind of in a story that the many of the body snatchers brought their dead here to what Don Cemetery adds to the legend that this place is indeed haunted now after reading all those stories I reckon it's time to get out of here I'm bit too tired to go exercise I I'm not doing karaoke I think I might find myself a quite quite spot to reflect on the day enjoy a beer and think about religion think about the dead thanks for watching